Welcome to Newsbeat on Internet Television International. This is Abuja Studio in Nigeria. I'm Christine Opara. The People's Democratic Party is set to clamp down on its members in the House of Representatives who engaged in a battle that led to the disruption of proceedings on Tuesday. The party would attend to the shortcomings of the Dino Malaya led progressive minded legislators in their unwholesome dealings. Bankale on Wednesday met with PDP National Chairman Okweseleze Nwodo and other members of the National Working Committee for over an hour. The party has asked Honorable Dino Malaye and 11 others who were involved in the brawl to apologize to Nigerians for the scandalous and preventable conduct. The disagreement which ensued at the House of Representatives on Tuesday has taken a new turn as one of the 11 members suspended, Austin Wachiku, has been charged to court for conspiring with others to injure a lawmaker. He was arraigned before a chief magistrate court in Wu Season 6, Abuja. At the court yesterday, Nwachiku was charged with conspiring with Dino Malaye, Doris Ubo, and Beatrice Keze, which, according to the prosecution counsel, Joseph Ong, was punishable under sections 97, 265, and 248 of the penal code. Ong told the court that Igwe reported to the police that during the plenary of the house, Nwachiku poured a chemical substance on him, hit his arm, and inflicted serious injuries on him. He said Igwe has been hospitalized and was receiving treatment as a result of the injuries Nwachiku and others inflicted on him. Chief Magistrate Oyebola Oyewumi granted bail to the accused in the sum of 5 million naira with two shorties. Nwachiku is to be kept in police custody until his bail terms are met and that any violation of the conditions of the bail would lead to automatic revocation. In a similar vein, Kogi State House of Assembly has condemned the conduct of its representative at the National Assembly, Honorable Dino Malaye, for being at the front of the physical brawl that tarnished the image of the Nigerian House of Representatives, even in the presence of school children. Professor Atahi Rujega has pledged to tackle the problems of corruption in order to ensure free and fair election in the country. Responding to questions from senators during his screening at the Senate chamber Wednesday, Jagger said his priority areas and exemption of office would be prompt review of the voters' register, internal reorganization of INEC, and a comprehensive voters' education. Correspondent Rachel Uwa completes the story. Jega pledged to put in place proper policy framework to guarantee an election whose results would be generally acceptable to Nigerians. The chairman designate told the lawmakers that he would ensure a serious restructuring of INEC to meet the expectations of Nigerians and the international community. Uh, obviously, it's a very, very serious problem, and there are two issues associated with this. One, there is the act of criminal practices established, but then there is also the perception of the public about the extent of the ability of corruption that takes place within Iran. And obviously, we will not tolerate corruption by Madame uh, Bangladesh. We will do everything we can to do. On the issue of election violence, Professor Jega said he would collaborate with the police in other security agencies to ensure that appropriate measures are taken to forestall it. To a question on how he intends to show any undue pressure from the president who appointed him, Jega said he did not expect the president or his party to put him under pressure for any favor, as his relationship with the president is already defined by the law and will remain so. 
Jega, who denied allegations that he was a consultant to INEC during the tenure of former chairman Professor Maurice Ewu, pledged to implement the recommendations of the Ways Committee on Electoral Reforms, of which he was a member. He urged the senators to give a talk to the establishment of the political party's regulatory commission as a way of taking some burdens off the shoulders of INEC and allow it concentrate on core election matters. Meanwhile, the Senate will today vote on confirmation of Jigar's appointment. Also, six of the nominees for national commissioners are to appear for screening at the Senate today after the withdrawal by the president of two names on Tuesday and also the non-inclusion of two other names in a list published by the Senate on Tuesday. Rachel Ua for ITI. And that's our take on news bits. I'm Christine Opera. Thanks for logging on.